What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to take you through some things that you should be doing in the off season of the connected franchises such as, you know, changing your player positions. Um, what else? Upgrade. Well, I've already showed you how to upgrade players, but I'm just going to go through some things that a lot of people don't know. And uh, we got to be able to make sure that everybody has a fair chance of, you know, getting their butt whipped in the franchise. So I'm going to go through some things that will help you get yourself better and more well prepared. So the thing we're going to go to right now is the... Um, we're gonna go to manage roster, okay? And I'm just gonna show you real quickly because during the regular season, you can change certain positions to a certain type of thing. Like for, exa for example, you can make like a, a right outside linebacker, a right outside linebacker. You can do like simple changes like that. But during the off season, you can do major changes. For instance, I have Gronkowski who is now a wide receiver. The reason in behind that is because I need him to not be a tight end because this year in Madden you can't make a tight end a wide receiver and that's the reason that I drafted him but in the first season I wasn't able to make him a wide receiver because they didn't they don't allow you to do it until the off season so I'm gonna go to somebody else like um another one another whatever well we can just pick anybody here but like for, for, for instance Zach Brown all right you, you press X on him and remember remember you have to do this under the roster section and then you just go to edit player all right when that comes up You'll notice that now he's a middle linebacker, but you can see that he can be whatever now. Uh, well, he can, he, he can only be these specific things, but during the regular season, he won't be able to change. You know what I'm saying? Like, he can only be this. These, these three things. But during the regular season, he would have to stay as, you know, a middle linebacker or whatever like that. Whatever, whatever the case is. Please note, though, that if you change their position, it affects their rating. So always understand that. So we're not going to save it because that I forgot that the middle linebackers can only do that. But um, we're going to leave him the way he was. Uh, we're going to go back to Gronkowski, who is, as we know, a tight end. And we're going to go to edit player. And we're going to check it out. We're going to see now, like, he can be a tight end. He could be a QB. He could be a halfback. He could be, you know, those are the things that he could be. Everybody can be different things now in the offseason that they can't be during the regular season. So that's just the way to do that. Go and check it out. You'll be amazed at what you can turn people, you know, you can turn people into. You can make them whatever you want based on, you know, a certain type of, you got to have a certain type of limit. You know, EA Sports is ridiculous, but they're not that ridiculous. So go ahead and play around with that. That's just how to change, you know, what they are. And, and in my field, all I needed was, was to change him to a wide receiver. You know what I'm saying? For, for, for my personal uh, preference. Okay. The next thing that I'm going to get to is re-signing players. All right. You got a lot of ungrateful players that are going to decline to take what you want, you know, what you want to give them in the off season. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this real quick. We're going to go to resign. If you just want to delegate it, go and delegate with the computer. Keep people according to whatever your scheme is. All right. So we have these two ungrateful bastards, uh, Watford and Kratos, who don't want to accept what I offered and they're not interested. So what happens is once the league is simmed, other people can bid on them. All right. So let's just say that I really wanted this clown, um, this fullback Devlin. I would go to it. I would enter the negotiations. Pretty much, it's going to tell you what his desired contract is. And over here is what you can decide what you want to give him. I have no desire of keeping him. I'm not going to offer him anything. But you may want to make sure if you want to keep a player that you go a little bit above what they're asking. That's just a tip. All right. So that's how you would go ahead and resign players. Very simple. Definitely get it done for the people that matter to you in your in your league because that's just the way it goes. So that's re-signing players. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you was about your coach. See, I made my coach as a rookie coach, so my guy is not already established. Either way, you can still upgrade most coaches. So you use these type of things to make sure, like the QB re-sign influence. These type of things is going to help you keep the players re-signed. It actually does help a lot. Um, the trade influence to make him a master trade negotiator in case you wanted to uh, you know, make a trade with somebody that's a CPU. Of course, if you're dealing with humans, it doesn't matter. This is more of a computer type thing. So it's not really necessary if, you know what I'm saying? If, 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 you're, if you're dealing with, my, like my league has 32 humans. So this doesn't really correspond to us. If you're an offline guy and you're doing it with a computer, this will help you get people to trade with you a little bit more, um, more efficiently. 
expert scout. I would want to use this, but I didn't make enough XP this season because I had a real bad season, probably because I suck. But it's a, it's a, it's a stage. You watch my other videos, I've gotten increasingly better, but this is my first year on next gen, so it, it's, it's been a rough progress. You know, it's been a rough uh, progressive state that I've been going through. And then um, you can also increase the player uh, weekly XP goal by buying this. Free agent influence is definitely something that you probably want to get into, especially if you're playing with humans. The player progression, I bought this already for the game prep modifier for the QB, because my QB is uh, Terrell Pryor, and I need him to up his game a little bit more. And um, right here, this is the retirement influence, where you can help a guy not retire, sort of like Brett Favre, let him stay for 900 years. And then I bought this immediately. This is the first thing you should buy if you make a rookie coach, the coach discount package, because it takes 25% off of everything else you have to buy. And that's how you upgrade your coach. Um, other than that, it's pretty simple. You just gotta go out there and win games. Um, as far as my season goes, this was the first season of the G Myers World franchise, and uh, it's over. We're gonna be starting up a new season, uh, season two, starting probably tomorrow after the rookie draft, which will be at seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And I keep you guys up to date. If you guys wanted to go back to my videos, it's very, very uh, well detailed. And you can follow the journey if you like. Uh, pretty much, my season ended on a uh, nine and seven, and uh, I pretty much I, I made the playoffs and, and lost in overtime. All those things will be available in other videos, and that's it. That's pretty much a tutorial that I hope will help you guys understand how to change the positions, how to upgrade your coaches, and how to re-sign players. Until next time, it's always one love. Go to gmyersworld.com for T-shirts for men, women, and children shot glasses and other accessories click on this video for parodies podcasts and other content g Maya's world is more than just madden videos and follow g Maya on twitter facebook instagram and you can download podcasts for free on itunes